Sleep plays an important role in healing you physically and mentally. This practice will help to ensure quality sleep. As you stretch and breathe deeply, you will begin to calm the nervous system and slow your heart rate. Set up a peaceful place and stretch and breathe deeply with me. You can even practice in bed and at the end drift off to sleep. I am so thankful that you are here. Let's go ahead and start in a child's pose posture. So coming down, reaching your arms forward and hips towards heels. Relaxing with either forehead down or up and leading with the chest pressing towards the mat or bed. Inhale and exhale deeply here as you breathe in this posture. With each exhale, release a little bit of stress from the day. Continuing to slow your heart, your mind, and your breath. Reaching the fingertips towards the top of the mat. Good. Now go ahead and reach over towards the left, stacking your left palm on top of the back of your right hand. Continuing to keep the shoulders nice and square, feeling a nice stretch through the shoulders, and now also the left side body, separating the rib cage. Continue to press that left hip towards your heels and your chest open. Inhale and exhale. And then moving over now to the other side, stacking your right hand on top of left. Once again, keeping the hips nice and square, shoulders are square. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and release, exhale. Now coming back to center, letting the hips fall towards the heels even deeper forehead to the mat. Roll through one vertebrae at a time, slowly coming forward. You may need to walk your hands forward and then press up, lifting just the chest slightly in a cobra. Inhale here, exhale down, pressing through the hands, press back into your child's pose once again. Inhale and exhale. A big inhale as you roll through the back and shoulders, releasing down. Inhale as you press into your cobra, exhale down. Inhale and exhale back into child's pose once again. Breathing here, then rolling through. Inhale and exhale, release cobra. Inhale as you press the chest and lift towards the sky. Exhale, release it down. And pressing body away from mat, child's pose. Inhale, roll through one vertebrae at a time. Release, exhale. Inhale, cobra. Releasing down once again and slowly pressing back, child's pose. This time, go ahead and bring the knees out really wide, almost the width of the mat, and reach fingertips forward. This is a wide-legged child's pose. Let your belly fall through your thighs, leaving lots of room to use the diaphragm to inhale and exhale slowly. Inhale and exhale. Releasing the hips towards the heels even deeper with each breath. Inhale and exhale. Good. Slowly start to come up to a seated posture. Cross-legged or whatever's comfortable for you, sitting tall, go ahead and roll the head from side to side ear to shoulder, chin to chest, and ear to other shoulder. You can even use your hand to guide your head towards the shoulder. Now reaching the left arm behind you, grabbing the wrist with your right, gently 
pull the arms so that you're feeling a stretch all the way from the crown of the head down through the fingertips. And then once again, rolling head from side to side, inhale and exhale. Finding those tight places, maybe hanging out in those spots just a little bit longer as you breathe into the area. Good, other hand. So reaching towards the wrist of the other arm and then just lengthening all the way from the crown of the head down through the fingertips, a nice big stretch. Inhale and exhale. Grounding the right sit bone into the mat as you feel even deeper separation here. Releasing, giving yourself a little neck roll, a little shoulder roll, and then go ahead and place the bottoms of your feet together in a cobbler's pose. So leading with the chest, just come into a slight forward fold here, just opening up the hips. You can use your elbows if you wish to go to the inner parts of your legs to even press those open a little bit further. Inhale and exhale. And with each breath, releasing the hips just a little bit deeper. And slowly coming out of this cobbler's pose, we're gonna extend both legs nice and wide. And then go ahead and inhale, reaching both arms up, palms pressed together. And exhale, turning towards the left leg, leading with the chest, coming into our side stretch. Breathing here. Nose does not have to come anywhere near the knee. Just feeling the stretch through the hip and the hamstring as you breathe. Continuing to lengthen into this posture. And then go ahead and come up, walking through center. Getting as comfortable as possible and coming into a wide-legged forward fold. If you'd like to place a pillow or yoga block underneath your chest. This can help support you in this posture. Inhaling and exhaling. Releasing with each breath. Slowly coming over now to the right leg. So chest is facing towards the leg. So we're feeling the stretch more through the hamstring and the hip than the side body. Think of coming out and over the leg as you breathe and release. Inhale and exhale. Continue to grow, continue to relax. And go ahead and come on up to your seated posture once again. So we're going to move to our back, so coming down to the bed or to the mat. Find a happy baby. So drawing the knees in towards the rib cage, grasping the outer edges of the feet. You can rock gently side to side if that feels good or remain still. Coming out. Releasing your legs down, pressing the feet firmly, finding our bridge. So press down through the feet, lifting the hips, reaching the arms underneath you or not. Shoulders are nice and pressed into the mat. Inhale and exhale as you squeeze through the glutes. Continue to breathe here and then release down. Good. Bringing the arms up. We're going to let the knees come to the left side and look off to the right in our supine twist. If you'd like a deeper stretch, you can actually bring the left foot up and over the knee of the right. This will help draw that leg even closer to the bed or the mat. Pressing both shoulders down, feeling that opening and feeling that twist through the spine. Inhale and exhale in this posture. A nice deep twist here to end our practice. Good, continuing to breathe, continuing to release even deeper into this posture. 
Inhale and exhale. Coming out of this posture, planting the feet down, swaying the knees gently from side to side. And then go ahead and press into your bridge posture once more. So through the feet, squeezing the glutes, interlacing the fingertips, or maybe not, keeping both shoulders pressed into the mat. Inhale and exhale, chin to chest, holding this posture and then releasing it down. Supine twist in the other direction. Goal post your arms by your ears, pressing shoulders into mat letting knees fall to the other side and once again if you wanted to bring that bottom leg the foot of the bottom leg over the knee of the other you can do that to deepen the twist twisting is so beneficial not only does it stimulate blood circulation and release tension in the muscles of the abdomen it can also relax and realign the spine so before we lay down for our full night's sleep. It's important to stretch this area, prepare it for rest. Inhale and exhale. And go ahead and slowly come out of this posture and sway the knees gently side to side. Hugging knees into chest in a reverse child's pose as we prepare for Shavasana, our final posture of the evening. You can rotate those ankles if that feels good to you. And go ahead and stretch legs out long, bringing the arms by your side, pressing shoulders into mat and chest is open. Close your eyes. Notice how good it feels to close your heavy eyelids after a long day. When you're settled, start to take deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And with every inhale and exhale, you're getting closer and closer to sleep. With every breath, the stress of your day can melt away and your body is slowing down and getting ready for bed. All you need to think about is this current moment. If your mind drifts to thinking about today's events or to tomorrow's to-do lists, notice that, but do not judge. Gently bring yourself back to your breath. Every breath brings you closer to the sweet relaxation of sleep. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.